Well, the answer might surprise you here, but it's actually none of these. So let's have a look at what is making a stable atom. Well, the black dots are all of our elements and all of our atoms that exist naturally. So these are the atoms that are stable and exist in nature. But just like when you had your experiment and you built an atom yourself, you've actually got these gray areas. Now, in those situations, they're not exactly stable. It was hard to add on those extra pieces of marshmallows. So they have a larger or smaller number of protons or neutrons. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get to these black points. What we can see here, though, is that the straight line, when the number of protons is equal to the number of neutrons, isn't followed as the atom gets heavier. That's because when an atom gets bigger, it needs more neutrons than protons to stick together. Think of neutrons as being the glue inside of an atom, but the atom doesn't want to be super heavy. So when it gets down to the lighter ones, the neutrons are equal to the protons. But when it gets really heavy, like up here, it's actually got more neutrons than it does protons. And that's just to help it stick together as it's sort of like the glue of the atom.